Glad to have you back. Today we're going to talk about inner dialogue and how important it is as an actor or actress to convey some sort of inner dialogue. And we're going to reference the scene in Godfather where Michael, Al Pacino's character, goes from being a civilian who's against the mafia types. You know, he doesn't want to join his family. His dad, who's the godfather, Marlon Brando. And he wants to stay out of the family business. But in this scene, we see him make the transition from civilian into a gangster and eventually into the godfather as we know him. Now, when we talk about inner dialogue... I remember an exercise that we did way back when in acting class. It's called Serial Killer. So the instructor would have all of the actors stand up in front of the class in a line and just stand there staring back at the students in the audience, right? She would have them sit back down and ask the students in the audience watching the students standing up, what did you think? And you had all sorts of descriptions People didn't know what to do with their hands. They were uncomfortable. They felt like they were on the spot. Some people were called weird looking, strange, and serial killer was a big one. He said, you look like a serial killer. You're just standing there staring at me. And then the instructor would have the students go back up to the front of the class, stand in a straight line facing the class. But this time, they were instructed to create an inner dialogue, whether that be you're walking your dog, and you're thinking about stuff that you have to do or you have a paper due in school or you're thinking about what you're going to cook for dinner or you think about a funny moment in your life, whatever it may be. That's totally up to you, but keep an inner dialogue going and then the students who are watching the students up on the front of the class, what did you think this time? And this time there were things that were said that was totally different from the first time, such as they looked um, interesting I was curious as to what they were thinking. They definitely did not look weird like the first time. There was no serial killer like the first time. So it shows you the importance of inner dialogue. And again, in this scene in The Godfather, you see the epitome of inner dialogue when Al Pacino is sitting there as Michael, the character, contemplating, you know, am I really going to go through with this? Am I really going to kill this guy? And the chief of police for that matter. So am I going to kill this gangster who attempted to assassinate my father, right? And am I going to also kill the chief of police? Is this really happening right now? And you could see him going through that inner dialogue. And who knows what he was thinking? He could have been thinking about his pet dog. He could have been thinking about his daughter. He could have been thinking about his favorite pasta dish. We don't know, but it doesn't matter. As long as you have something going on there, right? And ultimately, Art is subjective, so us as viewers, we're watching him, we're watching the wheels turning, we're watching his eyes moving, we're watching his expressions change, we're feeling him out as we're watching him, and we can see a man literally losing his soul. Again, going from the civilian who's in the army, straight-laced, against criminality, against the mafia, all of a sudden become a stone-cold assassin. So remember, the next time you do a self-tape, the next time you book something, whenever there are empty pockets with no dialogue, it doesn't mean you just stand there and stare off into space or just stare at your counterpart characters or character and nod your head, right? You want to listen and you want to talk when it's your turn to talk, but in between, you also want to have an inner dialogue going, right? Even while you're talking, you could have an inner dialogue going, and that'll make things much more interesting, and you never know, it may convey something beyond what you're trying to convey because again art is subjective and that's the beauty of actors who carry on powerful inner dialogues